Bob here for Weld.com. You're going to have an exciting life from now on, thanks to the Bucket Dipper. Check this out. This is your rod bucket. So what? This is your rod bucket at the beginning of your day. This is your rod bucket about an hour and a half into your shift. Check this out. This is the Bucket Dipper. You can organize your rod bucket. We can organize chip and hammer, wire brush, whelpers, spacing tool, rod, bananas. It doesn't matter. Check this out. 60-10, 70-10, 80-10, weathermen, tradesmen. Organize your bucket. You're going to have an exciting life from now on. We're going to show you how to do this. Thanks, Bobby Mays. We're going to show the viewers how we made this. This is uh, pretty simple. It doesn't need to be that thick. I made this one out of some uh, 14 gauge. Eighth inch is good, 10 gauge. Let me cut it out of 3 16 but again, it doesn't need to be that heavy. We'll get with Cub over here, see what he's got going on the Queaky machine. What's going on, Bob? Cub, need a little ring cut, some circles. And uh, I've got a number 10 bucket here, so nine and three quarters, nine and seven eighths, so it slips down inside. Connect some rings in here symmetrically and connect these. That way it'll add some rigidity to it. All right. Can we do that? Oh, yeah. You're a so, good man, you know. So I'm going to draw a circle. So I'm going to type. Scale 10. it out. 0.125. So, you know, if you, if you don't have a CNC, you can cut these out of oxyacetylene, lay it out. I made one where I bent some filler wire. I took 532 second filler wire and uh, bent it in a circle. And I took some, I think it was three inch pipe and I cut them about an eighth inch long in a, in a bandsaw and tack welded them in and you could put another piece of filler wire in there, anything that functional. But again, it's just quick and simple. It organizes your rod bucket. You don't wanna have too fancy of a rod bucket out on the job side, otherwise it'll disappear. But if you got one that, uh, you know, just a generic bucket, it's a little less attractive. Uh, another thing, it you know you sometimes these get bent up and stuff. We're all we're knocking them over and hanging them on stuff, and this will help kind of keep it round and not get smashed up. It doesn't need to be tack welded in there. You throw all your rods in the bottom. You still got all your stuff organized at the top. You can get in it, grab a half burnt for tacking up. Whatever, it's functional. So. This one was made out of some fairly thin material. Eighth inch, three sixteenths if you're cutting it with a hand torch, that's fine. Added some circles, you can customize this, you could put some hooks on it. Another thing is you don't have to r grab rods and onesies and twosies. Since they're all organized, you can just grab them out and put them back where they belong. So the cub is gonna finish his drawing and uh, do his program here for his cut pass and we'll show you how to cut one out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope that sparked some ideas, help you get organized on the job site. Appreciate your subscription to Weld.com. Hit the notification bucket. <laughs> bucket. That's funny. That hit, good. hit the notification button. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks so much. <laughs> I got to see it. I got to see that.